Hello, welcome to Danzo Garami. In this video, we're going to show you how to make one of these, which is a Christmas decoration idea. There's no glue, really easy to make. So let's put that to one side. Now, we're going to start off with two sheets of square paper. I've cut this down from A4, so they are roughly 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters. Now, I've marked this sheet up with a few lines to help us out. So the first fold that we're going to do is we're going to fold it directly in half over the top like that. You can see I've got another line marked here. So once you've done that fold, you fold it in half, exactly in half again. Then we'll squish that flat. So now we've got a 1 to 4 ratio height. And we're going to fold that over the top. So we're going to fold it in half over the top like that. So now it's 1 to 2. Now once we've folded it in half like that, we're going to unfold that again. So we've got our crease in the middle there. Now, the first one of the bits of paper, we're going to fold clockwise. So what we're going to do, turn that to the side, is we're going to fold this piece of paper up. We're not going to let the fold go any further than this centre line. So we fold it up like that, and squish that flat, and then we'll turn that all the way round, so the bit we've just folded facing us. And then we're going to do the same with this side. So we're going to fold that one up, so the fold's a 45 degree angle there. Now, when you start doing the second one of these, you need to make sure that the first one is going clockwise and the other one is going anti-clockwise. So the two pieces of paper are a little bit different. So now, turn this over and you should have a diamond shape in the middle of your sheet of paper like this. Now, with this diamond shape, what we're going to do is hold the straight lines across the top and across the bottom and our diagonal lines along the sides here. We're going to fold these two squares the furthest point away into the corner. Now I'm going to fold this one up. So you see now my diagonal line goes back on itself here and again here. And we're going to turn that all the way around and then we're going to do the same thing again with this square. So we're going to turn this point into this corner. So we turn that up, fold that up on itself. Now, when you're at this point, you need to put this one down and go away and make your second one. Now, I've made two ahead of schedule. I've got a nice blue one and I've got a nice orange one. Now, you can see that when I put them next to each other like that, one is going in one direction and one is going the other. Now, you need this to, for it to go in opposite directions. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the blue one in the middle. So our straight lines and our diagonal lines are also the top and the bottom. And then we're going to turn the orange one over. So now you see once the orange one turned over we've got two triangles. Now we're going to put those two triangles over the top of this but diagonally like that. So now if we hold that on top of that one you can see we've got kind of a star shape already. Now we're going to hold those two pieces together and we're going to turn it all the way over. So now our orange one is on the bottom, our blue one is on the top and what we're going to do is we're going to fold this triangle over into the middle. So this point here is going to go up into this corner here. But as we fold that up we're going to tuck it inside the blue one like that and then we'll put the blue one back down. So you can see we're starting to get the centre of our star here now. Now if we turn that all the way around, we're going to do the same thing again with this one. We're going to take this point and put it inside this blue flap just here. So we fold that up, lift that blue flap up a little bit, tuck it inside there. Now we've got two in place. It should start to hold itself together a little bit. Now we'll turn the whole thing over. A little bit of a wiggle to make sure that's in the middle. And now we're going to do the same thing again. So you can see we've got our two flaps that we're going to put tuck into. And we've got our triangle here. So this point is going to go inside this flap here. So we push that up and tuck that inside that flap. Now you've got three in place. It should be pretty sturdy and it should hold itself together a little bit. Now this last one, this last one is a bit special. So what we're going to do is we 
this fold here, if you want a piece of string to attach to it, and you don't want it to have, don't have to glue it, what we're going to do is we're going to put the string underneath that fold just there. So let's do it on this one. We put the string in there like that. So whatever string you're using, I'm using a bit of uh, a bit of ribbon. Took that in there like that. Hold that out of the way. Let me put that triangle back. Now this triangle is still going to fold over and it's still going to go inside this flap. But as we do that, it will lock this piece of string into place. So fold that over. Let me bring that a bit closer for you. Fold it over and tuck it inside there. And as that goes flat, you will complete the model, squish it down a little bit, and it should it should be pretty strong as well. So there you go. Nice Christmas decoration idea. Easy, two bits of paper, pretty straightforward, and no glue necessary. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help. Thank you.